Dodge this. Hey guys, the Gunblade has landed. Vastilok is by far the best thing that Barakatir brought. It's so good in fact that I'm gonna buy it twice, once for a friend. You cannot miss this, and if you do, buy it with Platinum, because it is like the best Gunblade by far. It has massive slash heavy attacks, which Redeemer Prime does not, Sarpa does not, and Strofa does not. Strofa has impact, Sarpa is sort of this weird SMG, and Redeemer has blast. Like seriously, who needs blast, right? Okay, all the other things Barrow brought, except for Primed Fever Strike and Jolt, are kind of niche and weird and useless. Mark of the Beast, I'm not going to buy just because of the name and it. So all of these cosmetics are like okay-ish. I think this operator hat is ugly. Uh, Sands of Inaros as always. Aos Prime shifts with your armor. It comes in a piss yellow, but it looks decent actually if you shift the color for it. Viper Wraith is kind of mastery fodder, but who knows, it might pop up in your circuit or deep Archimedia or get the Incarnon treatment someday. Yeah, everything else is really just cosmetic. The big two, or should I say three, are Prime Fever Strike, Jolt, but number one, Vastilok. Definitely get this. It's sick. I just tested it for like an hour or two and all the other gun blades, and it's by far the best. Peace out. So these are the two builds you saw in the clips. This is what, after many hours of testing, I found to be the highest damage by far. Melee influence for groups and general gameplay, AoE. Melee exposure with radiation and viral instead of electric for single target. 